I can't be the only one that has either an extra Xbox power supply lying around or more like I did pick it up at uh, the Goodwill for five bucks. <clears throat> this is a good 12 volt um, power supply. <clears throat> Puts out 16.5 um, amps, uh, which is about the equivalent of, I think I saw in here, um, 203 watts. Um, it also has a fi uh, uh, five volt output. Um, the there is a website that has the pins all numbered. Um, to turn this thing on, you gotta you short. There's two pins underneath right here and here. One's the power turn on, and one's five volts. And if you just jam a piece of metal in there, <clears throat> it'll short those out. It won't short them out. It'll send power and tell the uh, power supply what wake up. That'll turn this light from amber to green. Um, I don't want to deal with this connector. I just want the 12 volts. So I'm going to disassemble this and see if I can get the wires, figure out what color they are for the different things. Yeah, if you can get a thin screwdriver in there, you can just pop this sucker off. And you can see it's shielded. Um, and there's a metal band around here. Let me take that off. Now this apparently is called a J9A1 DC power port. Uh, you can see it has um, 8, 9, 10. I don't know if it really has 10. No, that's on the female. So it has it has 9, has 8 on the male. Um, there's 2. There's So it goes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see... One, two, three are ground, four and five are 12 volts, six 12 volts, seven, which is one right up in here, is the power enable. And this, uh, this eight is um, five volts, this is standby. Those are the two, you have to short between seven and eight. So these are the wire colors, if you look at it. There it is without the shielding, it's a little easier to see got um, red and blue and then the top row here are all yellows so those are the 12 volt supply and then the bottom it's tough to see but are black wires and those are ground um, and then there's I think this is a shielded cable um, I'm gonna be plugging a, <coughs> a car stereo that I have installed in my kitchen into this so I'm gonna try to use this ground, the shielded ground, and see if I can um, keep any of that power supply noise out of, um, uh, that's the problem I have right now using the computer, a computer power supply. So let me see how this one works. And even better, once you have these yanked out of that plug, super easy to connect it up to whatever you need to connect it to. Yeah, I just want to show you that when you connect these two together, this is the power enable and the 5 volts. Watch that amber light over there. It goes, goes to green. So I'm going to just solder those together. Haha, uh -huh. you know what that is? Silence. No hum from the power supply. I'll show you real quick what I've got set up here. So I've got um, some infinity... Uh, component speakers here. I've got my radio head unit mounted in here. Um, it's pretty old now. It's like 10 years old. Um, and then, there's a subwoofer down here. And the subwoofer is actually just a home subwoofer because I can plug that into the wall. This radio is now wired up to my Xbox power supply and there's an amplifier, a Rockford Fosgate amplifier that's in the basement below here. And uh, it's a nice way to have good sound in your kitchen without taking up a lot of room. <laughs>